Yeah, buddy. So Chad there, he's been an inspiration for me this year of true example of a dude who comes out and works his ass off, trains, practices to get it done. You know, like there's a lot of YouTubers out there that make this stuff look so easy. Young Tucker, man, like he's, he's killing it. But you gotta remember that he's 20 some years old, full of piss and vinegar, which is awesome. But I think it kind of creates an unrealistic expectation for a lot of the people who are aspiring to do this. Honestly, it's not as easy as it looks. And I think that's kind of been a, a learning thing for me this year with a lot of new guys coming out in that there's lots of different personalities, physical makeup, all these factors that come into play. Oh, Jesus. These cold morning starts. <laughs> okay. What I was saying is that I think be able to do this sport Effectively, it takes a lot of practice. Like it's a new skill that guys are learning that is, this is something completely different than anything else in the world. You know, like, it just takes a, a unique skill set. And people, I've had guys come out and they think, oh, I'm gonna come out for a weekend and uh, we're gonna fly, I'm gonna be done. The reality to this is that it takes time, dedication, and a lot of patience. It can really be frustrating, you know, especially depending on what part of the world you live in. Here, we're flying from a little over 3,000 feet above sea level. So it makes it, you know, that much more difficult to launch. The air is less dense and the weather is challenging. We don't have consistent weather up here. And so, it's really hard to plan. I don't know where my wingman went here. Chad, where'd you go, buddy? Oh, there he is, I got him. And so it's, it's hard to plan like a bunch of consistent days in a row of when you can you know, realistically fly. You know, here we're lucky if we get four, three, four days in a row that we can fly. Like this weekend is, is nice. Now that we're getting into the fall, like it was snowing like terrible here for like about a month. Luckily, the snow's melted again and uh, we're having some decent fall weather, which makes for some good flying. And right now we've got like three, four days in a row where it would be great to uh, do a lot of training and for guys to get some repetitions in. I think the moral of the story is you got to practice, practice, practice. If you want this to be enjoyable and want to have a ton of fun doing this, you got to practice and expect that you've got to develop your skills and keep it going as long as possible and build upon that even between training sessions. And that makes it more enjoyable. Kyle Oakley eloquently put it in one of his recent videos where we are a uh, select group of retards because <laughs> that that's really a descriptor to a T. You know, like the mental fortitude to, uh, to do this, uh, you know, either you gotta be completely nuts or 
rationalized the the safety behind the equipment. Oh, dude, what are you doing? I had my uh, my wingman there was coming down on me. I had to avert a crisis. Anyway, um, you got to be completely nuts or be able to rationalize the true safety behind all this. You know, like the equipment is safe. The, the form of aviation, I think, is probably one of the safest out there. And so a guy just has to be able to wrap your mind around the freedom of <laughs> that birds have. So here's Chad. Man, like he's, he's knocking it out of the park. He's done all of his training. He uh, is licensed now. And, you know, he just shows up to come and fly, which is freaking awesome. Like, that's what you want, you know? Get out here and do it, man. And uh, I think that the longer you space between your training sessions, the more you build in apprehension. You know, you start to think, oh, you know, like, what am I doing? That's crazy. I shouldn't be doing this. You know, am I going to get hurt? And like with anything, the more that you do it, the more practice, the more confidence that you get with your equipment and your gear, the better it's going to be. So for those out there who want to do this, uh, commit, dedicate, put in the time and the effort, practice until your fingers bleed. That's the moral of the story. My rant is done. Anyway, let's enjoy some flying and uh, see what this morning brings. Butter. Uh, looks like Chad's got an engine problem. Uh, she didn't land into the wind. So there you go. Frustrating part of these two-stroke engines. He's had trouble for this carburetor right from the get-go, so he's bought a new one that just hasn't been put on yet. With his, like, it goes to idle, and if you don't kind of tease the, the throttle a bit, it just dies out, which happened there. If anybody has a fix for that, comment, on, comment below, because we've tried to adjust it and we've tried to mess around with it, and, uh, you know, we've tried to adjust that mixture level to be just right, but we've uh, we've rebuilt the carburetor, and it seems like, it seems to run fine, but it almost like it creates like a, an airlock kind of, where, you know, if you bring it down to our, the RPM down, it's like it's, it's not sucking up the fuel the way that it should be. So yeah, if you know how to fix that, comment below. Hey, you got this, Chad. You got it, buddy. Let's go, let's do this. Go, 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 yeah, buddy. Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. Atta boy. <laughs> 